So topic today is uh, just a little bit of a drill progression that you can use when teaching linebackers how to take on a block with power. You know, we talk a lot about winning with speed and using your quickness to defeat blocks in certain situations. Uh, but sometimes you need to take that block on and use power. And that's what this drill is, is designed to sort of teach in a progressive way. It's a, it's a drill progression. So it starts in a fit position. So you're going to ask your linebackers to find a partner, you know, partner up um, with one of their teammates. And the start of this drill is a fit position. So we're shading half of the blocker. Um, the big key here is that that near foot is slightly forward. You want that near foot... Um, that's shading the blocker to be forward a little bit in your stance. Your hand position would be the shoulder, and we want to grab some jersey there, and then the midpoint of the chest, you know, the via the neck of the shoulder pad, that's where that inside hand is contacting. And in this fit position, you know, we're, we're grabbing jersey, we have two handfuls of jersey and shoulder pads, our hips are low, our eyes are up, and our face mask is, you know, right in the armpit of that player who's simulating the blocker. So that's a good fit position. That's going to get us started. Um, really important to start the drill in that good fit position. So the first phase in the progression um, is pretty simple. We're going to start in that fit position. On the coach's signal, we're just going to extend our arms. We're going to step forward with that outside foot, and we're going to throw our hip into the gap. Uh, so you'll see it here. We'll focus on this pairing right here. Um, there's that fit position, and on the coach's signal, there's that, uh, that first part of the progression. So again, the arms are extending. The foot is stepping forward and gaining ground. We're throwing our hip into the gap. We're trying to keep our shoulders as square as possible. There's going to be a little bit, a slight turning of the shoulders. You want to try to keep the shoulders square if you can and uh, not get too overextended with that step. You just want to throw your hip into the gap, gain a little bit of ground, and ideally you're turning the shoulders of the blocker. If, the sho if you can turn their shoulders and keep yours square, you're in pretty good shape. Uh, the next level of this is the eyes. You know, you really want the eyes to go on this first signal from the blocker. So initially we're looking at the blocker, we're looking at our target. As soon as we extend, we want our eyes in the backfield. We want to see where's the ball carrier, what's going on behind the blocker, and we really want to snap the eyes from the blocker to the back um, on this first phase of the progression. So just a couple quick reps. Um, you see it here. You know, extending, we see how we're grabbing jersey, okay, extending the arms, stepping into the gap, and uh, gaining a little bit of ground. So in the next phase of the progression, I mean, you're going to work that, you know, both partners are going to work it, you're going to work it from the right side, you're going to work it from the left side. Just that muscle memory of starting in that fit position with great hand position, um, extending the arms, stepping into the gap, and throwing your hip into the gap. Once we've done that a few times and we're comfortable, here's the next phase of the progression. Uh, the fit position is the same. We're going to start in that fit position. But again, if you'll watch this pairing here, now you're just going to add active feet. So as we extend our arms uh, here and throw our hip into the gap, you see the feet are going to chop. The feet are going to be active. And we're just simulating that battle where we're taking on that blocker. You know, the ball carrier hasn't declared yet. Uh, we want to get that good extension, eyes in the backfield, hot feet. Okay, and when the coach signals it, uh, we're going to release from that drill and then reset and do it again. So same start position, same extension of the arms. You know, anytime you're doing one of these progressions, as you add on to it and it becomes more dynamic, you don't want to lose those first parts of it. That's sort of the whole point. So you still want to make sure the eyes are snapping into the backfield. You have extension with the arms um, and all of those things are, are staying with you. But here's the extension in slow motion with the hot feet and the eyes in the backfield. That's the second phase of the progression. So the third phase now, and we're really starting to put things together here, um, is going to be now, uh, I call it a two-go drill. So the coach is going to give two signals just to separate the two parts of the drill. And again, we're just training our bodies, muscle memory, um, to take on these blocks in a game situation. So the first go, the first signal from the coach, is going to be the same progression that we just saw. You're going to start fit, you're going to get the extension, you're going to have hot feet, and you're going to hold that position. On the coach's second go, now you're going to pull and rip and really defeat the block. So we'll just watch one here. Again, we're watching this pairing. Um, you're going to see that first go like we just talked about, okay, hot feet extension. And on the second go, now we're going to actually defeat the block. So a few keys here. Um, this is why you want to have a good handful of jersey with that left hand here in the first part of the drill. Now that I have that extension and I get that good push, now I can work the pull. But you can't really do it unless you have, again, that, that firm grasp of some jersey. When I pull with this hand, I'm going to bring that back foot and I'm going to bring that back arm, and I'm going to step and rip. You know, same arm, same foot. Again, we say you haven't defeated the block until that foot clears the blocker, um, and now you've kind of got a chance to make a play on the ball carry. So with that extension, now you see the pulling. Okay, and you're going to sort of catapult yourself forward, pull with this left arm, step with the right foot, 
bring the right arm and clear the block. Um, another common thing you'll see here is we don't want to drift away from the blocker. We're using power to defeat a block typically because the ball carry is very close. The ball carry is in close proximity, that's why we have to actually take on that block. So once I rip and defeat the block, I want to stack the blocker, not gain a lot of separation right away, uh, stack the blocker and be ready for the next phase, which is probably going to be a tackle. So again, that good extension, that pull, rip, and step, and now you're in a good tackling position, and that's sort of the finish of the drill, is that good posture there. So one more time here with that extension on the first go, and on the second go we pull and rip, and now we've defeated the block. Here's another look from a different angle. Okay, there's good extension, eyes in the backfield, hot feet. Then we're going to pull and rip, and really bring that rip, bring it high. You know, the offensive player is probably going to be, you know, holding you or, or trying to keep you uh, in front of them. you got to pull and rip violently to really defeat that block. Here's one more here, good finish. Okay, the film starts a little late, but that's the posture we want. A good extension, then you see the pull and the rip, and just again, you clear that blocker, uh, you clear them with your back foot, and you're in a good position there now to make the tackle. Then the final phase of, of this specific progression uh, would be to back up the defender a little bit. So instead of starting fit, now there's about one step of separation, and now they have to find that great hand position. So they're going to step into the blocker. And again, find that hand position on the fly. You still want it to be, you know, shoulder via the neck. Um, and from there, everything's the same. You're going to get that extension with hot feet. And then on the coach's second go, um, you're going to defeat the block. So now again, you want to, you don't want all the parts of the progression to break down. You want great eyes. You want great hand position, uh, good square shoulders, throw the hip into the gap. On the second go, you want to really disengage by pulling the shoulder of the blocker, stepping with the back foot, bringing the back arm, ripping, and finishing in that good tackling position. So I really find with that progression, especially with young players, you really teach them, you know, we walk before we run. You get that muscle memory, you teach that good hand position, that good body posture that you want to use when taking on a block. Uh, from there, you can speed it up. You can add more distance. Um, obviously, you can add in uh, more components to this drill where there's a read and react phase to it. And maybe you add in a ball carry to work some tackling. But I find that this progression is a really great way to, to teach that muscle memory and get them in good position to take on that block with power.